Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyText. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can still upgrade from Windows 7 or 8.1 to Windows 10 for free in 2020. As you likely know, the support for Windows 7 ended about a month ago, that was on January 14th. And since then, there has been lots of information, sometimes misinformation, about what the future holds for Windows 7 users. You get all sorts of questions like, is this the end of Windows 7? Is it worth to pay for the extended support? Almost everyone upgrade to Windows 8.1 or 10. Now, it's definitely a good idea to upgrade to Windows 10 if your usage scenario permits, but sometimes you may have some applications or user interfaces that rely heavily on the Windows 7 platform. As such, upgrading to any other Windows version could be an uphill task or maybe too expensive, or you are just a big fan of Windows 7 and wouldn't want to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, there is certainly a number of ways you can still maintain your Windows 7 going forward. I'll be addressing those in more details in an upcoming video. This video covers one of the ways to go about it, which is to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, this video is not just about upgrading to Windows 10, but upgrading to Windows 10 for free. This free upgrade has been ongoing since the release of Windows 10. And it's likely that Microsoft would keep it that way going forward. If for any reason that's about to change, I will update you guys as quickly as possible. Now by free here, I mean without the need to buy any licenses or product keys from Microsoft or some other third party resellers. And this is completely legitimate. Microsoft allows you to retain your Windows 7 or 8.1 license key when you upgrade to Windows 10 in the way I'll be showing in this video. So it's crucial to follow the steps in this video accordingly so as to avoid ending up with an unlicensed Windows 10. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so before you go ahead with the upgrade, you want to make sure that your PC meets the minimum systems requirements for running Windows 10. Now, this might sound like common sense, but I've seen situations where people ignore these requirements and then the installation takes forever and afterwards they don't get good user experience with the Windows 10. Mostly it ends up being too slow for normal use. Now for Windows 10 to run effectively, Microsoft recommends a 1 GHz or faster processor, a 1 GB of RAM for 32-bit platform or 2 GB for 64-bit and a hard disk space of 16 GB for 32-bit OS and 32 GB for 64-bit OS. Now you are likely good to go on the graphics card and display requirements because that hasn't really changed from previous Windows editions. However, for the processor and RAM, I would recommend that you double up on these requirements for effective running of Windows 10. So at least a 1.7 GHz processor, a 2 GB of RAM for 32-bit or 4 GB for 64-bit. With that out of the way, the next thing is to check that you have a licensed Windows 7 or 8.1. To do that, simply go to your computer folder, click on System Properties, then scroll down to where it says Windows Activation. Now if for some reasons it still says Activate Windows Now with certain number of days to activate, then you won't be able to get an activated Windows 10 after the upgrade. Here you should ensure it says Windows is activated and that you have this genuine Microsoft icon at the right end of the screen. Now this next step is simple but yet very important and that is to ensure your laptop is connected to the internet at least once after you've installed your Windows 7 or 8.1. This will enable Microsoft servers to acknowledge the activation of your Windows 7 or 8.1 and also store your license. That way, when you upgrade to Windows 10, then they are able to transfer your license to your Windows 10. It's really that simple. And if you are concerned about what edition of Windows 10 you will be getting after the upgrade, here is a chart showing what edition of Windows 10 you will get depending on the edition of Windows 7 or 8.1 you have running on your PC. The good news is that every edition of Windows 7 or 8.1 has at least one edition of Windows 10 you can upgrade to for free. So now that we have all that in place, let's go ahead with the upgrade. So open your browser and search Windows 10 Installation Media Microsoft. Then click on the first link from Microsoft. I will also leave a link to the download page in the description section below. On this page, click on Download Tool Now. Then launch the media creation tool by double clicking hit yes on the user account and wait for the windows 10 setup tool to load now if you are curious about the duration of the upgrade i will say anywhere between 40 minutes and one and a half hours this depends on quite a number of factors such as your internet speed your system specifications talking about the ram and processor and of course the addition of windows 10 you are upgrading to here you have the license terms so click accept to proceed 
on this next window it asks if you want to upgrade your pc now or you want to create an installation media here we'll leave the option as upgrade this pc now and hit next to proceed then it starts downloading your windows 10 installation files now the windows 10 installation file is approximately 6 gigabyte depending on what version and what platform you are downloading for so it's advisable to download over a fast wi-fi connection in order to quicken the process for the purpose of this video, I will fast forward the rest of the processes and show only the key stages where you need to make some input. Now here it asks what you want to keep after the upgrade. The default option is to keep personal files and applications. So with this you won't be losing your data at all. However, if for some reason you wish to delete all the files or applications, then click on choose what to keep and there you will find the options of either keeping your personal files only or keeping nothing. Here we'll leave it as keep personal files and apps and hit next. After some time, Windows 10 will be ready to install, so here just hit install and then wait for the installation process to complete. Now during this process, your PC will restart several times. Do ensure you have your power adapter connected to the laptop during the entire process because it might take a while and you won't be able to check how much power you have left in the battery. Here you can choose the privacy settings that suits your need. I'm just going to go with the defaults and hit accept. Now I'm going to go ahead to verify that I have a licensed Windows 10. So I go to my computer once again. This PC. Computer. System properties. Then scroll down to where it says change product key or upgrade your edition of windows click on that and then on the next window that pops up you should see the activation status of your windows 10 here i have windows 10 home edition and under the activation it says windows is activated with a digital license so here i have successfully upgraded from windows 7 to windows 10 for free the same process applies to windows 8.1 and that is it for this tutorial. If you still wish to continue to use your Windows 7 for some reasons, I'll be making a separate tutorial on how you can still maintain a fully functional and safe Windows 7 going forward. The approach would vary depending on your usage scenario. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.